Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome to the Ken Burton Show. This is a continuation of the series we're doing on shit that I never use. And this week we're looking at L86 LSW. Now these big heavy machine guns. Oh, before I start, bit quick, very quick apology for the background noise. And there seem to be a lot of police cars going past uh, at the moment and a lot of kids in the clothes screaming. So I don't know what that's all about, but screw it. Um, let's do it anyway. Okay, so a lot of people say to me, you know, that why don't you use these big heavy machine guns? Because surely they are built for players like yourself that have aiming problems and have a tendency to spray and pray well I find uh, more often than not I get caught out with these guns rather than uh, a help they turn out to be a bit of a hindrance because whilst yeah they've got fantastic firepower they've got huge mags on them um, you don't need to reload every shot you know they are very cumbersome to move around with and very very slow to aim and uh, for me, when there's other people in the game and they're all playing on, you know, fouls and, you know, um, uh, quick draw guns, it's really, really a, a disadvantage for you to be using this. If you're going to camp, I guess, this has got to be a camp gun. Um, but, uh, no, I mean, that, that was a fairly nice kill. But, um, yeah, I, I still think it's going to take a lot... A lot of bullets in this gun to take somebody down, but we'll have a look and we'll just we'll just test that theory out anyway. Oh my god, let's try that. Okay, so what do we do? What do we not do? We're missing him. We're missing him. We're missing him. There's a lot of hit markers though. Oh, I think that's three. Is that three? You see what I mean about the aim though. I'm so slow to actually pick up on the fact that you know that that gun has got to go in a certain direction. That I am just spraying and praying. I can, just it's a control of the recoil, I guess. Um, that I seem to be struggling with, and hence the reason why I'm dying so much. No, nah, the reason why I'm dying so much is because everyone else is better than me, and I'm not camping. But, you know, um, I don't like camping. I don't like campers. So I feel it a bit hypocritical to go out and do it. A lot of people have said to me, you know, we'll get you a nuke. We'll get you a nuke by camping. Oh, that was a twofer. That's worth another look. Okay, let's see that again. And we are... Come on. I should be firing now. One, two... Three, four. God, that was a lot of bullets. That was a lot. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess as, as well when I was hit firing there, you notice I wasn't. I was getting hit markers, but oh, I don't know. I don't know. This. I can't really work some of these guns out. You know, some of them take two. Some of them take fifty. You know, and uh, assisted suicide. That's nice. Yeah. So camping. I'm not a camper. I'd be hypocritical if I said I would like camping. And like I said, people have said to me, well, get you a nuke, get you a nuke. We can, you know, show you where to camp, get a nuke. Not interested, because I don't want to get my nuke that way. My first ever nuke has got to come from gameplay, not from uh, tactical gameplay, not from uh, cheating the system, which camping is. Um, I'll tell you the other thing about this gun as well. This, I'm not really sure if this is the case, but or whether or not this is a current gun in the, the military, but um, I was watching this Ross Kemp in Afghanistan thing, and I'm absolutely sure I saw a gunner using this, and uh, he was shooting across a, an open field, and he was getting some serious distance with it. I mean, the, you know, it looked to me like he was firing about, I don't know, maybe half a mile away at, um, at a village, and he was just unloading this thing on that village. And it was just incredible to watch. So it's a bit disappointing, really, that it is such a disappointment in game. It's so slow, so cumbersome, and, uh, you know, so difficult to handle. Um, I, have, I don't really see a lot of people using these guns on a sort of day-to-day -day basis. I guess, you know, they, they would use them um, if you were going to camp. But on a sort of, you know, just a day-to-day, -day, I, I just don't think it's a gun everybody would use. There are, of course, other guns of this type that a lot of people do talk about and say, you know, if you if you are seriously going to get, you know, go for the nuke, you want to be using the uh, whatever, whatever, and tie it in with a big mag. And oh, God, can you imagine one of these with extended mags? You'd never stop shooting, would you? You'd just be like bullets across the map all the time. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, not not another not really for me gun i'm not particularly impressed with this I t the rpd though i was i was more impressed with the rpd than i was with this um but yeah what can i say it's um okay for i don't know what it's okay for really i don't know well, if you had a choice between this and the rpd why would you pick this why um i guess if you haven't got the rpd you might pick this but i don't know I think it's a camping gun, and uh, yeah, it's not really something that I would, you know, be overly interested in.
carrying on using, to be frank. So, um, right, well, what else? There's no point doing any analysis on this either because um, there just isn't. I mean, we've just seen it's a hit and miss gun. It's a spray and pray. There will, of course, be the argument that in the hands of somebody that can use it, this gun will be excellent. And I accept those arguments. Oh, Mr. Irata Arcada Maxwell. <laughs> Maxwell. Um, yeah, I do accept those arguments, but... Um, you know, I'm talking about guns that I never use and the reasons why I don't use them and, you know, the reasons why I've never used them and, you know, some of the mistakes I've made by not using some of these guns, uh, as we found with the Vector. Um, so, and uh, the Snippy Riffle, the last one. Um, so, yeah, this, I guess, um, in the hands of somebody that can use it, if you're fine with this gun, then that's great. What I'm saying is this, this really isn't a gun for me. It's not... It's not fast enough. I mean, you just saw there. I mean, what the hell was that? Didn't I got him? But what was that? Can't even get my head around that. Let's have another look at it. So, what we got here? One, two, three, four. Oh, come on! I got tubed. Yeah, that was, that just wasn't good, was it? That just wasn't good. Oh, well, my replay's gone on too long. <laughs> Sorry about that. Cut. Cut now. Got a normal space. Got a normal space. Oh dear. Oh well, not to worry. Uh, right, so... <laughs> shorter, I know, than my usual video that I would send you, and I will make it up to you next time, but um, really, there's there's nothing else to say about this gun. No point talking about it. If you've got any good things to say about it, please put it in the comments. Personally, I can't think of a damn thing. Oh, surprise, surprise, the game ended. <laughs> that was my care package, by the way. Um, right, okay, what did we get? 11.9. Utter, utter pants. Okay, well, the comments on this one will be interesting. Guys, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Go over to my channel, links in the description, and hit the subscribe button. Be nice to see if we hit that 35 pretty soon. And uh, as ever, you know I'm going to see you on the dark side. You'll take care now. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. There you'll find the latest updates from our premier directors and the Machinima Respawn team.